Come out, come out, wherever you are. I was starting to get all healthy out here. Oh, no, no, not this again. Sounds like a party in there. Oh shit, no! He saw our special time! Ah! 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 Fucking pricks! Got a right to privacy. Uh, 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 uh. You're only making it worse on yourself. Oh, shit, sorry. I appreciate the help, buddy. I'll take it from here. Best we don't mention any of this on the paperwork. shit about the army was travel. That's the truth. <laughs> what else? Jesus! He's got my bike! Seriously, you saved my ass. Oh, this is fucking awesome. Oh, it's cool, man. My repo instincts kicked in. Where 
the hell are you going with my bike? I'm sorry about that. Oh! Screw this. This shit ain't worth it. Oh, you're the man, buddy. Ah, forget it. I gotta pretend like I'm a good guy sometimes. Of nut jobs. I told you the Canadian. You. Look at him. Oh, thank God. I thought I was dead for sure. I didn't even know where the hell we are. You couldn't give me a ride, could you? No, you can walk. <laughs> Only kidding. Too soon? Come on. This is a nightmare. I kept telling him it wasn't safe. I gotta make a call. Bethe, you need to come and get me. Yes, right now? I was just ten seconds away from getting whacked. Meet me in Vinewood Hills. I gotta get out of here. Anywhere. Okay, I got a guy coming for me. Vinewood Hills. Jesus, this is so messed up. Thank you. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Ah, uh, well, based on my quick read of the situation, you would have been buried alive. Those six sons of bitches. What was that all about? Just my dad, as usual. That was your dad? What? No. Yeah, I shouldn't really say, but what does it matter now? 
you're in the life, right? You can't handle yourself like you did and not be in the life. Have you heard of Sammy Bettino? Most people call him Sonny. Mm, can't say I have. The Gambetti family? Don't you watch the news? He was Don Gravelli's right-hand man. He more or less kind of ran the East Coast in the 80s and 90s. No? Well, that's my dad. Father of the year. They tried to pin a murder charge on him in 2007, and we had to go into hiding. Move out west. One day you're living the good life, the next you're moving around safe houses in rat hole hick towns where no one comes looking. Where no one comes looking. And, uh, your friends back there? Just the latest in a long line of people who want to get back at Sonny Bettino. Could be something he's trying to run from the inside, or someone else he squealed on. When he got pinched in 2011, he kind of coughed a plea, gave up a lot of people. So he gets to sit in his five-star cell while I'm on the outside dealing with the consequences. My dad was many things, but I never thought he'd be a snitch. Whereas you seem to be the soul of discretion. What's there to hide anymore? It's all out there. They even wanted me to do a reality show. Wise bitches, daughters of mobsters, cat fighting, and broker. But of course he wouldn't let me. He's so protective. I've always been a daddy's girl. Could have fooled me. You wait until he hears about this. He'll flip his shit. Seriously. Everyone those two hicks ever talked to is gonna get hit. But what's your name, by the way? Trevor Phillips. Why? Am I on his list, too? That would seem on the unfair side. No, he's gonna wanna know who saved my life. You'll be made right for this, I promise. Whatever the code dictates. That's my guy. Thank you again. I won't forget this. Who's this? It's Antonia Bettino. You know, the girl who nearly attended her own funeral out at Polito Bay? How could I forget? My dad wanted to make sure you were looked after. Now, there's some money being wired to your account right now. Now, I gotta get off the line. Thank you again. My city is a tourist man. Ganta. Really the only thing that's going to motivate me to go to a gym. Orale, this is going to be a blast, bro. 
On your right, you'll see the world-famous Gentry Manor Hotel, a legendary party hangout for actors and rock stars and people trying to have sex with actors and rock stars. Built in 1921, it's been the scene of some classic Vinewood scandals over the years. One of my personal favorites was Al DiNapoli's overdose in 2002 after a chimpanzee blasted an eight ball up his rear door with a water pistol. Fantastic! They say that on any given day there are at least two dead party girls in the trash cans round back. Isn't that great? Okay, smartphones at the ready, celeb spotters. We are now approaching the legendary nightclub, no, The Dungeon no, Crawler. Opened in 1996, the club is famously owned by actor Bruce Spade, who has a custom-built elevated VIP table so that he looks the same height as everyone else. It remains one of Vinewood's hottest night spots for the rich and famous to do drugs and date rape impressionable fans. Play your cards right, oh, no and that could be you! The Dungeon Crawler was in the news again recently when comedian Morgan what Chester what allegedly ran over that's a that's doorman wrong, in his man. SUV for not laughing at one of his jokes. How you doing, oh, and now a treat for you closet glam rockers on board. We're coming up to the infamous Tequila La Rock Bar. Back in the day, this was a restaurant run by the mob until it got shut down over the Adam's Apple in the Soup controversy of 1982. It reopened as the Tequila La Bar in 1983 and soon became a mecca for hair metal bands and fans from across the country. It's rumored that the Love This song, Dangerous Bastards, was written about a night they partied here on Mescaline with some transgender twins. Now, this house up ahead is one of the many private residents of action movie director Mark Faustenberg. Faustenberg still maintains he was out of town when a 15-year-old Mexican girl was found dead in his pizza oven in 2007. The case was settled out of court and all charges were dropped. The girl's family now live on the next street. So this is the house of television exercise guru, The Craze. You might have seen him degrading himself recently on Rehab Island. Do any of you remember the 80s? Huh, strange times. People didn't go to the gym back then. They did jumping jacks in front of the TV and leg warmers and headbands. The craze swapped his gold lame leotard for a crack pipe in the 90s, but is reportedly now clean and in the best shape of his life. That's Vinewood's code for, <laughs> he's trying to make a comeback. Celebrity wild child Martha Turn. Daughter of 70s comedy star Joni Turn, Martha spent her teens partying on booze, her early 20s partying on coke, and her mid 20s staring at her shoes on heroin. Her tell all autobiography about the difficulties of growing up really rich in Vinewood only sold 30 copies last year. I should remind you this is a no smoking bus. Unless, of course, it's medical marijuana, then you're all right. I like your car. You know, I always wondered why this is such a big deal. Just up ahead is another place to see and be seen in Rockford Hills, the Richmond Hotel. An iconic entertainment industry hangout, sleazy producer types, have been promising to make young girl stars here for over a hundred years now. Not gonna lie, I did some shameful things in that lobby bar in my youth, but I've put that period of my life behind me now. I was a member of the jury in the 1991 movie Last Will and Testament. They, they cut my line. Is everyone having fun? Up. Here you can see the landmark Weasel Theater, which was opened here in Morningwood in 1930. Some of the biggest movies in history have premiered at this theater, including Blue Blood, Shoulder of Orion, and The Many Wives of Alfredo Smith. You might remember the controversial premiere of the gladiator comedy Lions and Donkeys in 1984, when star Chip Hampton walked up the red carpet with two slaves in chains. This can't be real!
count yourselves lucky my prescription just got renewed this morning. <laughs> I told you. Just up ahead on the right is where Delancey Medua's septum fell out after a ketamine party. And now to our left, ladies and gentlemen, is the famous Richards Majestic Studios. The product placement for classics like Nelson and Naples and Rum Runner and the not-so-classics like Vinewood Zombie and Shoulder of Orion 2 was shoehorned into the final edits right behind those very gates. Everyone has a favorite Solomon Richards movie. An American divorce really helped me through a difficult time when I was bankrupting my first husband. Oh, come on. Don't people in the Midwest watch movies? You must have seen Defender of the Faith. No? Wow. Tough crowd. Remember, these people are rich and beautiful. That makes them better than us. I, yeah, oh, this is where I met that cute guy last week. Keep those cameras out and fingers on the trigger. Celebs are skinny and fast. Oh, this tour is going to be so positive. I feel it. I feel it. Okay, people, get those cameras out. This is Portola Drive. You won't get a better chance to spot a celebrity in its natural habitat. As you can see, the recession hasn't hit this part of town very hard. These are some of the most offensively high-end designer stores in the country. And now, some fun trivia for you. There have been a number of movies shot on Portola Drive, mostly awful ones about rich idiots, including the blockbuster 2005 romantic comedy, Shoe Whore. It's credited with sending women's rights back 50 years. The store we're passing now is where British star Charlotte Crown was caught on film in the changing room, eating and purging the same burrito over and over again, <laughs> just like a dog. This is the Epsilon Center. Anyone with red hair, please cover it for your own safety. If you really want to meet a famous celebrity, this place is packed full of them. Take an introductory course. It it changed my life. Kiss mom! To the left, you'll see a spot where a pizza boy claims that Clay P.G. Jackson asked him to remove his shorts. Oh, hey! Thanks for calling! You'll recognize this stretch of road from those videos of Jill von Krestenberg with the Romanian shot team. Don't you just love people you've never met and would have you arrested if you came within 10 feet of them? Please, refrain from taking photos of ethnic minorities. They could be gang members. Is this where I met that Armenian chick last week? Here is City Hall. This is where the mayor's office is, if any of you care. You might recognize this building from the 20-minute final dogfight to save Earth in the movie Invasion Los Santos. The next corner is where actor Scott Stevens famously prolapsed after a failed party trick. Remember when Laszlo was arrested for masturbating with an eggplant and shouting at women? That happened right here. That's stupid. Hey, Dad. You hear me? And here we have the beautiful Oriental Theater. Riots broke out on the theater's opening night in 1928 as desperate fans tried to get upskirt shots at the legendary silent movie star Miriam Turner, much like you're doing today except with really heavy cameras. My daughter tells me it isn't politically correct to say oriental anymore, but considering some of the other common terms for Asians in the 1920s, the name could have been a lot worse. There's a saying that to go to Los Santos and not see the oriental theater is like going to China and not visiting a burger shop. Yeah, I've never really understood what that means, but... Yeah.
see some bad drivers, but you! Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. But you! No! Are you crazy? It's still in one piece, at least. I should be grateful for that. Thank you. My name is Saida. If there were more people like you, the world would be a much better place. I won't forget this. Bye for now. Hit again. Man, I can't believe you got that guy. You really saved my ass.
there's a guy coming. I think this is yours. Incredible, dude. You should keep some of that for yourself. Just rob me! You gotta stop that guy! Start up, you piece of shit! Okay, well, come on then. You've got yourself into quite a pickle, haven't you, little lady? So, I'm assuming hospital, right? No, no hospitals. Can you take me to Sandy Shores? I got people there who can help me out. Chola Springs Avenue. Sandy Shores. <laughs> it's your lucky day. We're virtually neighbors. I assume you've heard of Trevor Phillips Enterprises? What? Uh, no, I don't think so. Hmm, no point introducing you to my friends in the mountains, the state you're in. What? Which friends? Wow, well, it's just an aging organization in desperate need of some young blood. <laughs> Another time, perhaps. Look, thanks for this. Another 20 seconds, I'd have had the cops all over me. What the hell happened back there? Don't worry about it, okay? It's not worth it. I'm helping a bleeding girl who won't go to hospital or the cops flee the scene of a dead body. I reckon I deserve some deets here, girlfriend. Just a job that went wrong. Trust me, don't want to know. Oh, come on. I love hearing about criminal bloopers. Makes me feel so much better about myself. So you're in the game? You know, it really pains me when people refer to my lifestyle choices as a game. It really undermines all my hard work. <sighs> Look, we hit a pawn shop, okay? But it was a sting. Cops were waiting for us. It's supposed to be an easy job, low risk, 20k each. I was driving. And not a very good one. Hey, I got us through three roadblocks. We had half a San Andreas law enforcement on our ass. We'd have been home free if that son of a bitch hadn't pulled a blade on me at a hundred miles it's coyote for dinner. Spun us off the road. You cross me, I put you down. <sighs> no second chances. Hmm. Sounds like you need to find a better crew. Considering I got two in custody and the other one dead on the side of Sonora Freeway, I need any crew, period. Why? You know someone? Maybe you should do something about that pile of blood and guts pouring out of you before you go updating your resume. They got nothing to connect me. No real names, no addresses. Left all the money. Way too hot to wash. I'll get myself patched up, lie low at the safe house for a day or two, then see what I can put together. Oh, I'm hurt worse than I thought. What if you're dead already, and this is your first taste of hell? Dwell on that.
This is it. Listen, I ain't sure what you're into, but you need a driver anytime, you let me know. I'm a retired man. Corn and potato chips. What a night. I thought I was done for there! Man, what the hell is that? What the fuck, man? That's... Trying to kill me! You squeal again, and I'll blow your damn head off. Walk the... Huh? Man, am I glad you came along. Come on, let me sort you out. I gotta get my karma back on track. Over here, I got some paper stashed in the car. And at no point did you think about giving that up to the homies that's about to light your ass up. Them bikers ain't right in the head. Who blasts the fool over a half a key? Man, drug dealers who don't get paid, that's who. Shit, get out! There's more! Oh, oh, oh. You have to You're no joke, dog. I prayed for a crazy motherfucker, and the big man came through. This is for you. You earned it. Now, oh, we should battle. there. Coming. We need to get the hell out of here.
motherfuckers, eh? They took the fucking money down the hill, huh? Don't do it! Stay away from that case! What are you doing? The neighbors are gonna see this. You're always at that fucking golf course. You know I've got a competition coming up. Look, can we talk about this inside? Oh, really? You think I was born yesterday? Go play golf at midnight. That's it. Walk away like you always do. <laughs> hey, you. Listen, can you give me a ride? My wife's gone crazy. I'll throw some dollars your way. Yeah, man. I, I guess so. Why not? Thanks, man. Just let me grab my favorite iron. She's not getting that. What a mess. Really great wardrobe out for all to see. Whatever. I can't deal with it right now. Can you drop me off at the golf club in Richmond? At least I know I'll be welcome there. You just gonna leave your shit all over the driveway? Yeah, I'm not giving her the satisfaction of cleaning that up. I'll go to the club, get a few drinks in me, and hope either her meds have kicked in or the gin has worn off by the time I get back. I appreciate you doing this, by the way. I, I know it's kind of a weird one. What's your name? Franklin, man. Good to meet you. I'm Castro. Oh, okay. What is that? It, um, Italian? Spanish? Pure wasp, I'm afraid. My sister's called Muffy, so I think I got off lightly. So what was that all about? Ah, just the usual psycho female stuff. She thinks I've got another woman on the side. And do you? That's not the point. She doesn't know that I have one. Okay, guy to guy now. I have a very strict code. Only on out-of-town trips, no real names, a dead trail. That's a gentleman's way, right? Maybe in the last century it was. Yeah. I'm good like that. I don't want to embarrass her. Then she goes and literally airs our dirty laundry in front of all the neighbors. I mean, show some class. If you just drop me off at the entrance here, that'd be great. Thanks again. Hey, we should play golf sometime. Come by the club. I'm here most days.
Don't be a dick, bro. I'm trying to look out for you. Just give me the keys. Whatever, Dad. I'm totally fine. Just had a couple of beers. What are you talking about? We had like six shots each. Look at you. Hey, hey, chill, man. Hey, can you give me a ride just so Boy Scout there can get his buzzkill badge? There's my car. So where to, man? You know I'm on Alta Place. Off, uh, Howick Ave. Not that far. Oh, I don't feel so good. <sighs> I just got a mouthful of, of something. You better take it slow. Hey, thanks for this, man. As you can see, I could have driven. No problem, but Joy Killer back there had to lay a guilt trip on me. You believe they wanted me to walk? Walk? I don't even think this is Europe. Just because I sound drunk doesn't mean my brain's drunk. You know, it's offensive. You don't call a deaf kid stupid for talking funny. I can't believe he just walked up without me. Why do guys turn into such assholes when they get married? Well, he can go back to his boring family to jacking off in the garage after everyone's gone to bed. I'll stick with my awesome life. Thank you. Jesus, I wish you can hear yourself. This is nothing. You should see me on Thanksgiving, pumping the turkey, shouting to you. You like my wishbone, don't you? Again, <sighs> classic me. The ladies in that place, dude, all over me like a rash. I'd have cleaned up if I didn't have the worst fucking wingman ever. Uh, it'd be nice if everything stopped spinning around, too. Yo, what's up, man? That's just Thanks for the ride, man. I gotta get inside. I'm about to spill my guts. Take this for the gas. I'll see you around. You need to go get your shit together, man. Pump you right now. Hey, hey, you, buddy, can you do us a massive favor? It's the little lady's birthday, and we are really fucked up. Can you drive us back to our motel? Our car's right there. Come on, man, you can use our car. But of course, you two are a hot mess. I love it. You're a legend, bro. We'll get in the back, out of your way. Baby, don't breathe whiskey on the nice man. So where can I take you two blacked out young lovelies? We staying at the Hotel Southwest from here. Thank you so much. You have like the best tits in the whole world. If I didn't have to work for a living, I would just play with them all day. Oh, you so bad. Oh, that tickles, Poppy. Yeah, you like that? Just wait till we get back to the motel. Mm. I'm gonna get medieval on those puppies. Oh god, you know what that does to me? Shift that sweet little ass over here. Let the wolf see the rabbit. You smell like cigarette and buffalo wings. It's making me so horny. Come on, give me a slice of that giblet pie. What are you crazy kids doing back there? I tell you what, while you're sweeping the front porch, why don't I work on her back plumbing? Huh? What did you say? 
How about I suck those kidney stones right out of your balls, big guy? Get this party really started. Uh, wow, wow, okay, man, it's cool, it's cool. You stop. Didn't I tell you this would be the best birthday ever? I'm so sleepy. Yeah, yeah, you save your energy for the motel room. Forty bucks a night, we're gonna get our money's worth. Thank you. You're like the best. We've got a little unfinished business to attend to. Mm. Smells like fishmongers in there. Sure, come on, get in, quick. Oh shit, here they come! Go, 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 lose them! Oh, this is a disaster! I am so fucking fat! Oh my god, they cannot get a shot of me! How's my hair? Do I look cute? Why don't we worry about the gang of lunatics chasing you first? They're crazy. What the hell did you do? I'm really famous! I... I didn't do anything! This is my average commute! Who am I? Uh, hello? Take another look! Uh, hello? I'm trying to focus on not killing us right now. Uh, looks like we lost them. Oh, thank God! Now, would you be a total sweetheart and give me a ride back to the hills? What a day! What, am I your chauffeur now? Oh, pretty please, I can't walk home! Most men would kill for this opportunity. No, like, seriously, I totally appreciate this. Do you want me to put your kids through college or something? Haha, <laughs> consider it my good deed for the day. My kids aren't really academic types. Besides, a 90-pound celebrity against an army of paparazzi doesn't seem like very fair odds to me. Ugh, please. I'm such a fat little piggy right now. Ugh, too many french fries. I mean, I mostly just suck on them and... Dick! Spit them into a bucket, but that's still probably like a hundred calories. The media love their little Macy Jonas jokes. All that, she's a skeleton, give that girl a sandwich. Lameness. Whatever, I bet they're all total hippos. When I get home, I'm, like, totally gonna sack all my personal trainers. Ugh, what I'd give to have a normal life for one day. Really? No way! Are you kidding me? Doing laundry and shampooing my own hair? Ugh, horrendous! No Thank you. I mean, do you have any idea how much money I spent on losing my regional accent? I had to cut all ties with my family. Not because I didn't love them, but because the thought of their lame lives was bringing me down spiritually. You know what I mean? You would really not believe how difficult it is being a celebrity sometimes. This is me. Thanks for saving me from those awful paps. You're such a sweetie.
on, quick! This way! She was screaming no, and he just... Kept hitting her! It's just over here! We got one! Go, go, get in there! You fucking... Come here! Somebody stop! City had a car. Oh, Is everyone in this town so dense? Of course you are. Bro, you want to make some money? Get a car that's big enough and be our driver. On your knees and stay down till we're gone. We need transport fast. <laughs> your mama is asleep. Watch out! Good, kid! You're good, kid! Let's lose this heat! Oh, bravo! What the hell was that? I said I had a score. I didn't say I thought of everything. Well, you could have thought of something. A car? Everyone in this shithole city's got a car. Go back to Liberty City, you Irish prick. You know where we'd be if this guy hadn't come along? We wouldn't be sharing the take is where we'd be. We'd be sharing a jail cell. You know, I ran big time hoods in LC. We took major scores. You can't even handle a drugstore? Oh, you and your stories. Shut up about LC. Shut up about the bank job, and your family, and your friends. I don't care. So at least I know I ain't the least competent crook in this city. I ain't the least competent crook in this city. I swear, it's just this guy. Look, man, can you just lose the cops? This kid's all right. Drop us around the corner, we'll give you your cut. Hey, look, uh, I know I seem like a hothead and an idiot. I am a hothead and a bit of an idiot, but I work, okay? And I can handle myself. I ran with some big guys in LC, and the only guy I know over here is him. If you ever hear of something, a score that needs bodies, would you think of me? All right, dude. If someone were to mention something like that, I got you. This is your share, bro. Think of me. Packy McCreary of Duke's LC. Somebody stop, please! God 
goddamn car broke down. Can you give me a ride? I'll pay you. I got money. Sure, I can take you. I'm unbelievably late for a flight. I need to get to the airport fast. Check-in closes at 10. I can't miss it. Piece of crap rental car of all the days. The average American spends 15% of their income on running a car and almost two hours a day in transit. You'd expect these auto manufacturers could deliver a reliable product. Sorry, I'm a numbers guy, but outward facing. I can work a spreadsheet, but I can also work a room. I run the models, I date the models, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'll have to take your word for it. So what flight are you trying to catch? Liberty City. I'm an equity analyst in Algonquin. Tech comms. The big leagues, man. The pressure, it can choke you. But I live for that shit. Name's Tim, with two M's. Because, mmm, mmm, I am hungry. 24-7. What's your name, buddy? Michael, with one L. Because that's how it's spelled. Well, listen, buddy, because you're helping me out, I want to help you out. My back, your back, they both get scratched. Get me to the airport on time, and I'll give you the kind of tip you can really take to the bank. I am hung over. The vendors took us out last night. <laughs> I had so many tits in my face at one point, I thought it was going to suffocate. We dropped 5K on bottle service, so go figure. I know what you're thinking. With everyone belt tightening is not cool. But you got to stop mixing up investment and retail. We didn't cause this housing bubble or the last one. <laughs> I don't even speak to those retail drones. You know, you're a really interesting guy. Good to talk to you. I didn't realize I was talking. And this new bubble crisis bubble? It's just hysteria anyway. There's a boatload of money to be made. Pay attention to the road, buddy! There's a boatload of money to be made in a downturn if you know what you're doing. And idiots lose paper, whatever the weather. And the storm... Let's try and get there in one piece, okay? When the storm comes, I make it rain, baby. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just make this flight. Oh no! I only got one hour before they close the gate! I think I can still make it. Buddy, I owe you big time. Okay, here's my tip. Buy shares in Tinkle now. You won't regret it. home, please? Sure thing. I love hitchhikers. I live out at Catfish View, Mount Gordo, by the lighthouse. It's very icy. Am I glad you came along? I was out hiking and got lost. I've been trying to flag down a car for over an hour. Why didn't you just call someone to come pick you up? I couldn't get a signal on my cell. And I don't really have anyone to call. Not since Mama passed. She was very hard on me. How I loved her. Are you sure this is the right way? I just need to make a quick stop at a friend's place. I think you'll like them. She was very hard on me, but how I loved her. I have her hair in my backpack. Okay. What? The days get long out of that house all alone. I don't get many visitors anymore. The gardener used to come on Fridays till he got real sick and fell off that cliff. Oh, I don't recognize any of this. Where are we? Don't worry. These mountains all start to look the same after a while. Oh, well, you know how they like to talk. But now, it's just me. Living on soup. Soup I make from old soup. Soup after soup after soup. I have to get out of there sometimes and clear my head. Those damn... I heard you're interested in taking care of some lost travelers, for a price. And so it is. And so it is. Leave the body, take the gold. Come on! Move! Move!
Can I get a ride? Hey, got room for one more? No, I think there's room for a little one. So, big favor. Can you take me to the top of Vinewood Hills by the sign? Thanks, this is so sweet of you. I was starting to think no one was going to stop. Short dress, boots, vulnerable but playful demeanor. What more does a girl have to do these days? You cast out this kind of bait, you'd expect at least a couple of old sharks to come sniffing. But along you came. Thank God. Uh, less of the old, please. I'm in the prime of my life. Just promise me you're not going to wear my skin or imprison me in a crawl space for 20 years? Joke. Kind of. You're cool, right? Sorry, I'm coming down. I've been parting like a biatch. Yesterday was a blizzard, man. I don't even remember getting out of bed, let alone going to bed. Good times. Okay. And what's on top of the Vinewood Hills? I'm going to see my man. He's a security guard at the broadcast tower right behind the famous Vinewood sign. He's been stressed out, really working long hours, so I thought I'd surprise the big lug. We haven't seen each other for like a week. Or maybe it's two. I don't know. Crazy how time flies. Wait, that's my phone. Speak of the devil. Hey, sweetie, I was just talking about you. To this guy who was nice enough to give me a ride? No, not like that. I'm pitching back into town. Yeah, I know what happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money or I would have gotten a cab. Yes, all the thousand you gave me? What's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? My phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shores. You know, Brianna or Susie. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe. Look, would you tell him? Are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. You're just some random guy. What? Just shout it. I'm just some random guy not called Brian. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe! Babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you think that went? He'll be fine when I surprise him. Probably just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. He's the serious, responsible, pay your bills, save for the future type, and I'm the sexy, bohemian, go off for days and do X in the middle of the desert type. I'm young. I'm still exploring my mind, discovering who I am. He knows I'll come back. When you run out of money. Whoa there, random guy. Less of the judging. Wait, there's my phone again. What's up? Yeah, hitching back into town. How do you think I feel? I'm wrecked. I know, I'll have one last bag etched on my tombstone. Don't flatter yourself. I can walk just fine, thank you. You're bad. Anyway, gotta go. I'll text you later. Don't tell me. Brian? What? No, just one of my girlfriends. Look, I'm seriously flagging now. I'm going to rest my eyes for a few minutes, if that's cool. See if I can power nap my way into a second wind. They're cute, so, but they're stupid. Broadcast tower behind the Vinewood sign. I, th I think it's Mount Han Drive. Just holler when we get there. You're the best. And don't touch me or anything, okay? Can't promise anything. I jest, of course. You're horrible. Yes, and there he is. Hey, babe! Surprise! 
And who's this guy? What, no kiss? Hey, punk, what the hell do you think you're doing with my woman? Ugh. Are you Brian? Calm down, I don't even know the guy. Ugh. I'll break your ugly face. Oh. Ah. You're a total moron. Oh my god, moron. he's got a gun. I can't do it. I can't marry him. In that case, jump on board. Just get me out of here, please. I live in Vinewood Hills, Kimball Hill Drive. Oh, God, thank you so much. I was starting to think nobody was going to stop. People see a girl screaming in a wedding dress and they assume, crazy? He's the crazy one, oh. not me. Talk about anger issues. Oh my god! No! I think that's him! He's coming after me! What the hell do you think you're doing? Leave me alone! That bitch is supposed to be my wife! <laughs> you know, I, I think you can do better. You're a little boy in a... Oh. Anything for the bride on her special day. I should never have let it go this far. Oh, God. What's my dad going to say? He spent ten grand just on ice sculptures for the reception. We had these cute little cell phone covers made with our photo on them. It was going to be so fabulous. I can only imagine. Oh, God. I hope they don't make me give back the gifts. Ugh, whatever. Anything to be rid of him. And at least I lost all that weight. What did you ever see in that guy? On paper, he was perfect. Rich, successful, the big car, the house in Vinewood Hills. And he was nice to me, sometimes, after the rages. I thought I could change him. Are you married? Mm, no. If you can believe it, nobody snapped me up yet. And I know he did some hooker on his bachelor party, but he just kept smiling and talking about his stupid bro pass. You know, he told me once that infidelity doesn't count out of state. Well, guess who's got the honeymoon tickets? Two can play at that game. I might even get pregnant. I'll have some Greek waiter's baby. See how he likes that. There was no way I was having kids with that Neanderthal. The thought of perpetuating his DNA? Ugh, I couldn't do that to the world. He really let one get away with you, didn't he? You should see his friends. They were all there, hungover, grinning like a bunch of slow kids at a petting zoo. I have Never met bigger douchebags in my life. I would literally rather disembowel myself with a jagged piece of glass than play hostess to those morons ever again. And his mother? Of course I could never live up to her, could I? The way he ran around after her, her and her prolapse. I seriously think some weird stuff went down with those two. I bet he used to bathe her. Wow, you tell it like it is, don't you? Anyway, I don't want to talk about him anymore. I just want this all to be over. Thank you so much. You saved me from the worst decision of my life. Yeah, sure, come on. We don't want you to run into any more crazed senior citizens. Thank you. I'm staying just off Sonora Road by the Redwood Lights track. So what the hell was that? Who were those guys? I've 
No idea. I was just talking to a friend on my cell phone when I heard them behind me, yelling about the Industrial Revolution and the Internet. At first I thought, oh, a couple of senile old-timers must have wandered out of the nursing home. So I'm like, did you get lost? Is there anyone I can call? Then, they start really shouting at me how I'm dead wood, that I've failed as a generation. And next thing you know, they've got me pinned down on the ground. Terrifying. It was so disgusting. They stink like spoiled ham, crispy hands all over me, ranting about how technology is evil. Uh, except they were in a car. Exactly. I'm, I'm thinking maybe they're like those weird religious folks who live out east that you see on MeTV, who publicly reject modern life. But here we are. Thank you so much. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't come along. Out my karma, but there you go. Oh my god, man. You're awesome. money now don't shoot i'm just a lowly agent i oh. i owe you big i can get you corker's tickets Anyway. I got myself stranded out here, bro. I could really use a ride. Okay, get in. So what happened to Mr. Sheriff here? Oh, that. Yeah, don't worry about it. 
Hey, can you drop me in my clubhouse? It's not far. East Vinewood, near the racetrack. Appreciate this, bro. Really appreciate it. Are you okay? You seem nervous. I'm fine. Just stressed out. Thought I'd never get a ride out of there. Well, for future reference, you might want to try the main road. No! They're on to me! Go! Go! You gotta get me out of here, bro! Are you wasted or something? I think we lost him. Shit. Thanks, man. So what's that on your jacket? You one of those angels of death guys? Are you kidding me? I'm lost. Forever, bro. The AOD are finished. They're a myth. Yeah, well, on the news, looks like your guys have been having a hard time out at Sandy Shores. Things have been rough. Too many people wanting a piece. The Aztecas, the O'Neills. Then there's this real crazy meth dealer. He's psycho. Huh. I know one of those myself. And it ain't just out there. We got serious beef with that other Mexican gang, the Vagos, all over L.S. They've been coming at us fierce. Now, I moved out here from Liberty City. When all that shit went down a few years back, I don't know if you heard about that, but things ain't been the same since. Turf don't come easy no more. So, what were you doing around there anyway? I was out. You know, hiking, and took a wrong turn. Ah, uh, hiking. That's big with biker gangs these days, huh? Hiking, walking, whatever you want to call it. My bike's in the shop, what do you want me to do? I'd also been to see a pal of mine in Bolingbroke, doing five years for possession, and the bastards are making him do every day of it. Can you believe that? Five years. Thanks, bro. I got people here that can help me out. Excuse me.
in the air! Knees on the ground! Right now! Yeah, man, I'm cool! Don't do anything stupid! We'll kill you! Don't move for three minutes! Stay still! If you move, we burn this place! You're lucky to be alive! <laughs> Right. Get on the fucking floor right now! Okay. All right. Take it easy. You're a man, aren't you? Do something! Oh, shit. Fuck. Take it, mother... You got the money! Oh, thank God! Next time you come in, it's 25% off, okay? Hey, girl, you good? It's clear. Oh, thank God. I don't even want to think about what they'd have done to me. I got no money, no phone, nothing. C could you give me a ride? I ain't just gonna leave you here. If you can drop me on Inoseno Road in Chumash, I'll get a friend to pick me up there. Look where you're going! Thank you so much for stepping in. I, I know what I know what those guys are like. They'd have killed me for sure. Some things you don't let go, and that's one of them. So you knew those creeps. You know, for as long as I can remember, the lost was my life. I was committed. And until you've been with a fat, hairy, middle-aged guy who hasn't changed his leathers in a week, <laughs> you don't know the meaning of commitment. You know what I mean? And then all the partying just started to take its toll. 
Feeling down all the time. Missing my family. Anyway, I decided to get out, clean myself up, get into treatment. Oh, no, 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 there's more. Oh, they're coming after us. Get rid of them. Screw you, assholes! Screw you! here before any more of my uncles show up. Uh. Move! <laughs> uncles? What? I mean animals! God, before any more of those animals show up. I think I'm still in shock. Man, you said uncles. Okay. Yeah, they were my uncles. So what? Your uncles passed you around like a piece of meat? No, asshole! They raised me! Look, I took some money, okay? What does it matter? Stop asking me all these questions! Okay, this is it. Thank you again. Look, I think we should just put all this behind us, don't you? Man, untie me. I've been here for hours. <laughs> even... Oh, thank God. I'm in so much trouble. Can you give me a ride? Please. I'll repay you, I promise. Mmm, naked road trip. I'm in. This is such a disaster. I'm supposed to be getting married. I need to get my suit from home and pick up the car. Then trek down the soon to be dead best man. And pray to fuck he still has the rings. To get to the church. In. Like five hours! I promised her I wouldn't go crazy! She's gonna kill me! I'm such an idiot! The ceremony starts at 3 p.m. Jesus, this is gonna turn into a funeral! Not a wedding! My dick is burning. I'm so dehydrated. If you hadn't stopped, I don't know what I would have done. Well, I stopped because I got a soft spot for a man in panties. A few cars went by, but... Nobody stopped. Nobody would help. They would just slow down, roll down the window, laugh and point, take photos and then speed off. I was on my bachelor party. Mmm, that part I got. It's the stripped and tied to a post in the middle of nowhere bit. That's what I'm interested in. <laughs> Come on. I want sort of details. Dude, I have no recollection. It was supposed to be a few quiet drinks, you know? Then the absinthe came out. Then the coke came out. At least I think it was coke. It got really out of hand. They made me finger a dog. I teabagged an elderly lady in a bus stop. Eh, eh, these things happen. Last thing I remember, I was stuffing a handful of mushrooms in my mouth. As you do. Go on. Next thing I know, I wake up there, with a deer gnawing at my balls. It's a low point. Mmm. What's that perfume you're wearing? It smells cheap. I don't know. No, uh, wait. Shit, no. There was a stripper, I think. And a mi- Okay. That's the car I'm arriving in for the wedding. You jump in and wait while I get changed quickly. It's my father-in-law's. This little bastard. He loved this car more than my daughter. Oh, it's a miracle I'm helping you at all. 
When will I learn to leave a naked man on the side of the road? Okay. At least I look like I'm getting married now. I got a message from my best man saying he's in a restaurant out of town. If he's lost the wedding rings, I'm gonna call him. Come on, pick up. Who do you think it is? A so-called friend you tied to a pole in the middle of nowhere with no fucking clothes on? We don't have time for this now. Just tell me you have the rings. Unbelievable! One thing you haven't yet completely fucked up. Stay there, don't move, I'm on my way! Okay, the good news is, he's in a seafood diner on the way to the church. You step on it, we might make this. Only that douche would be eating lobster at a time like this. There's the prick there. Dude! Look who it is. The worst best man ever. Enjoy your seafood platter, asshole. You better still have those rings. Yeah, chill. They're in my pocket. Okay, let's go. We don't have much time. Dude, dude, hustle out. My head's in pieces. <laughs> what a night. One for the history books. Do you have any idea what you put me through? It's my wedding day, you dick. I could have died. It's a rite of passage, bro. <laughs> You'll be telling the grandkids about this. I told you it was a dumb idea to do it right before the wedding. What the? Uh, no. You laid this guilt trip on me about tradition. A couple of beers, you said. We did only have a couple of beers, man. It was all the other shit. You always have to take it too far. Why the fuck did you strip me? <laughs> you stripped yourself, man. You don't remember? What? Don't worry. It's all on film. You were totally strung out, embarrassingly so. Way into the dark side, man. The fear had you, dude. And that was the point you thought it was a good idea to drive me into the wilderness and tie me up by myself. I'm not entirely sure how all that panned out, to be honest. I was tripping balls after you fucked that tiny stripper. Okay, I don't want to hear any more. Just get to the church. Okay, I don't want to hear any more. Let's just get to the church. Ah, oh, man. Gonna be so pissed off. Oh God, she looks pissed. Holy fuck! Babe, I'm so sorry. Dude, keep the car. This marriage is only happening because of you. Holy freaking cricket! You finally decided to show up. As long as we are married, I will never forget this! Babe, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Come just... on! <laughs> 